What's up, y'all? It's your boy, JTMM, a.k.a. Just 10 More Minutes, a.k.a. The Freaking 10. Back again with another video. This time it's Seller Darling, and this one is called Dance. Now, <clears throat> we've done Freeze, we've done Black Moon, and we've done Insomnia. And Black Moon, um, Black Moon by far is my favorite so far. Insomnia was great, and Freeze was great, uh, just different. Black Moon had a different feel to it, and I really, really enjoyed that one. So I'm very curious to see what journey they take us on this time. So, and for any selling, uh, seller darling um, fans, sorry, I want to let y'all know, I, I'm really enjoying this experience with them. It's not music I would normally listen to, per se, with some of their, like, Insomnia and Freeze. Um, but at the same time, they really intrigued me. They have a very unique sound and just as a music lover i appreciate that so with that being said i got the lyrics i got the video sound are you okay sound says we're good video says we're good there's only one more thing left to do let's switch it up all right without further ado this is seller Darling, dance. It's not creepy. Okay, so I'll step in and go over the first two. What I will say, <clears throat> when they added in the harmony on that last one, I really, and I may get killed for this in the comments, but it had an Alanis Morissette sound to it. And to me, that's a very positive thing. Um, it was nice. I really like that harmony right there. So this is Woe Drowns. Out the silence, free as heathens. Around in circles do the torn ones dance. 
Now, I'm going to grab this phrase, and I'm going to try to pronounce it. Gara Amun Yana Freya. And I'm just going to Google this phrase real quick and see what this translates to. Oh, okay. Interesting. Let us dance around the fire. Okay. I guess it says in a made-up language, but I, I won't judge that. I just read something about that. Okay, so let us dance around the fire. Huh. That actually, that actually gives a cool vibe to the song, knowing that. So... Let us dance around the fire. So she says that several times. Led by rhythmic motion, the lucid withers, rupturing the walls of every man, high beyond the mother, circling avians, gracefully inciting one last trance. So I'm not sure about rupturing the walls of every man, but I would assume high beyond the mother would be high above Mother Earth, the birds are circling. Gracefully inciting one last chance. I kind of dig this. Let's listen to this a little bit more. Let me go back a little bit here. Switches are really cool. Very
All right, so I'll start right there and go over this last <clears throat> bit here. Choria mania slaying the ever, sheer oblivion conquering delirium. Oh, the broken dancing forever won't atone it. Slaying the ever with whomever, like no other, now or never. Day after night, night after day, they faint away, unwilling their limbs raised toward the sky. Now, I don't know if they've gotten to that part yet. I heard her say something, so I could be mistaken, because this is a longer one. We're only just over half. Now, like their other videos, this one is definitely... <clears throat> Black Moon was pretty straightforward, but Freeze, Insomnia were different. This one's different. I like the music. She's amazingly talented. I, I love her voice. It's just clear, uh, crisp and clear, and I love that. <clears throat> I mean, especially for this type right now, Black Moon, you know, she went a little bit harder, and it was amazing as well. Just very well, well-rounded. I'm digging it. So, let's see where they take us on this.
that. Let me switch it back. I'll give you my final thoughts. So this is another one that I think takes you on an emotional journey. Um, because it kind of starts out on one bit and then comes back and back down, back up, back down. And obviously the visuals play into that. I don't necessarily know what to think. I don't get a connection as to what it's about. Um, but that was weird. And oddly enough, not in a bad way. Because knowing that the ones that were, you know, uh, fastened down were them... It questions at what stage was it them? What, why were they being forced to listen to it? What were they listening to? Was it this particular song? Is it representing them, you know, uh, dealing with something themselves and then at the end, you know, removing that from the picture and being free? I don't know. I love the lyrics, especially led by rhythmic, rhythmic motion, the lucid withers rupturing the walls of every man, high beyond the mother circling avians, gracefully inciting one last trance. The rest of it, I mean, it doesn't necessarily connect with me lyric-wise, but just that the way that the music told the story and then along with the visuals, it's like, you know, you're watching people or beings, for all intents and purposes, being killed, right? In very traumatic ways. But yet, the music is such that it doesn't bring you panic. That's why, in the back of my head, I'm kind of thinking of what could this be? Because, you know... Had it been a higher paced music with hard hitting beats, it, that would invoke a lot more motion. This didn't because they kind of kept it on a mid range level. That was interesting. I cannot wait to hear what this is about. With that being said, that's going to do it for this video. If you like this video, hit that like, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you each and every one of y'all. We are on our march to. A thousand subs. I want to say we're two thirty away. Um, so we're it's closing daily. I appreciate you all. And always remember, if someone asks you to stop what you're doing, don't ask for one. Don't ask for two. Don't ask for five, or we may have to put you into this video. Okay. If someone asks you to stop what you're doing, always ask for just ten more minutes. I love you all. I'm out. KTML.